Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed this in the Quran in Surah An-Nas and the Prophet peace be upon him advised us to recite this verse when whispers do come to us. Allah says, قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ النَّاسِ مَلِكِ النَّاسِ إِلَهِ النَّاسِ مِنْ شَرِّ الْوَسْوَاسِ الْخَنَّاسِ الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. Allah says, Say, I seek refuge in the Lord of humans, the God of humans, the King, and the Guardian of all humans, from the whispers of the whisperers and the sneaky whispering of the whisperers. The whisperers from among the humans and the whisperers from among the jinns. So this verse tells us that it's normal to get whispers and that sometimes the whisperings come from the shaitan, Satan or the jinns or your own qareen. A qareen is a type of devil which the Prophet peace be upon him told us and it's even mentioned in the Quran which every person is born with. It's a type of jinn that stays with you and whispers thoughts to you to delude you as much as he or she can, whatever gender they are. And you also have angels, which the Prophet peace be upon him said, who also whisper good thoughts into your mind. Whispers can become obsessive. They can lead a person sometimes to mental illnesses and sometimes we need help. The Prophet peace be upon him said, that there will come a time where people will begin to question too much about things which lead to senseless questions which benefits them nothing and questions which go around in circles. He says, Satan will come and make you ask questions about creation at first and then you continue to ask questions upon questions until it leads you to matters which don't benefit you anymore but just out of fun they begin to ask, well if God created everything, who created God? You see, the problem with that question is that when you say the Creator created everything, then the question is wrong to say, well, who created the Creator? It's like saying a triangle is a triangle, can a triangle be a square? Obviously, it's an absurd question. But this is how whispers develop. And so you go around in circles. A group of companions came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the hadith is in Sahih Muslim. They said to him, O Messenger of Allah, we get whispers in our minds which our hearts hate tremendously. And we'd rather you throw us in the fire than tell you what they are. The Prophet peace be upon him became happy and said to them, is this really what you feel? Alhamdulillah who has returned the ability of the shaitan to mere whispers. And then he said, iman." That is a sign of your true faith and belief. How? When they came to him concerned about those whispers and that those whispers uh, are frowned upon by them and they don't believe in them and they don't want them to say that, it showed that their faith in their heart rejected it. So the Prophet peace be upon him is telling us that when whispers come to your mind, it doesn't mean that that's who you are. It doesn't mean that that's what you believe, that it even happened to the companions. Now we've dealt with the companions, we've dealt with the shaitan and the jinns and the qareen, but the verse of the Qur'an also talks about people who cause doubt in your mind and whisper from the humans. They're a little bit harder to deal with. The humans who come and whisper to you may cause doubts. You may say, A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim I seek refuge in God from Satan the outcast. But the human will stay there. They're the people who throw into your mind doubts upon doubts upon doubts. The scholars said, if it's not severe, then go back and read the Qur'an. Learn the meanings of the Qur'an. And insha'Allah, it reads you and it brings you back to guidance. But if the problem stays, then don't leave those doubts in your brain, especially if they've got to do with faith and belief. The scholars such as Ibn Taymiyyah said, go and ask people of knowledge and scholars and present to them what these thoughts are and gain more knowledge, understanding and counter arguments to them. And insha'Allah, they will be destroyed. Brothers and sisters, some people do develop into some kind of mental illness which becomes a problem and you may need to seek someone beyond a scholar or a sheikh. So please also 
try out a professional therapist then I do advise to go to a Muslim therapist who knows their religion a little bit better because they can give you two anecdotes the one from Islam and spirituality and the other one from their professionalism and their knowledge.